Over the years, I've used plenty of mouse keyboard combinations to control my HTPC from my sofa. However, only two have survived. The Sodeco Air Keyboard and the Logitech 400K Plus. Now the Logitech 400K Plus has been great as my workhorse keyboard trackpad combination. It has this wonderful trackpad, all the QWERTY and F keys that you need, and it's great for when I want to get work done from my sofa or if I have to do a lot of typing. However, for the lean back experience on my sofa and something that's a lot smaller and handheld, the Sodeco Air Keyboard has been my go-to. And this thing is incredible. So incredible that the YouTuber Linus still uses his to this day. However, it's discontinued and it's getting a little bit long in the tooth and I'm looking for a replacement. Enters the Re X8. This has gotten pretty good reviews on Amazon as an HTPC remote. Let's see if it's able to replace my Vejo Sodeco Air Keyboard. Out of the box, the Re feels great in hand. It's pretty lightweight, but it doesn't feel like it will easily break. It connects via USB to a wireless USB receiver, and that's RF 2.4. And it's important to have line of sight when using this device. You don't want to put it behind something or you know behind your PC. You want to put it in the front port where you can have clear line of sight and it, it will be much better. Uh, it works with Android TV, Mac, which I can confirm, also the Nvidia Shield. But for the sake of this video, I'll be connected to my living room PC or my HTPC. It has a replaceable BL5B battery and you can purchase an additional battery replacement um, and charger for this device and I'll put a, a link in the description. The X8 uh, is charged by micro USB. You can see this little port here, uh, which I wish was USB-C. You know, most of my devices now are USB-C, so I have to keep a extra cable for, for this to charge. Next, let's talk about the star of the show, and I feel like that's this keyboard. It has all the keys you need to operate a PC. It has all the F keys, a shortcut key for control, alt, delete, a shortcut key to change the backlight color. And this is very useful at nighttime, but it's kind of gimmicky with so many colors. Also, you have a shortcut function and the space bar to change the key the speed of the trackpad when moving the cursor and i feel like this is a very welcome feature because i don't have to go into windows and change it and when you go into windows it will change the speed of the cursor for all of your devices having this is definitely a lifesaver so i don't have to tinker with those settings and mess something up with my other keyboard options. Speaking of trackpad, I would say this is the best trackpad I've ever used on a Re device, but it's nothing to write home about. If I would give the Logitech K400 Plus a 10, this trackpad would be an 8. And it's, it's not bad. Not the best, but not bad. As you can see with this diagram, it has two touch features, not multi, but I find it awkward to use two fingers. So this is where the scroll wheel and the directional pad really comes in handy. Also remember out of the box, scroll may not be calibrated to your liking. I had to play with the settings in Windows to tweak it to my liking, but it makes scrolling websites, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, super easy. However, the directional pad is just as good. Also two very important buttons are the left and right click. I don't particularly like the placement I wish there were buttons at the top or triggers. I feel like triggers would have been better at the top. So I wouldn't have to actually move over my thumb to click. If I had that trigger here, it would make copy and pasting those type of tasks so, so, so much easier. So I wish it had triggers 
And there's actually a re that has that functionality and it's the re4, which is a very similar keyboard. And I will be testing that next. Overall, I would rate this a decent HTPC remote. It has a ton of features, but it has its core. This keyboard would definitely be in my rotation, especially for nighttime use because of the backlighting. But I understand why Linus still uses the Sodeco Vejo Air keyboard. It's been discontinued in the range of a decade, but it's still the best option for a handheld lean back experience, and you're lucky to have one. Also, the Logitech remains the champion workhorse, and it's the best for heavy typing and completing tasks from your couch. But the Re X8 is not bad at all.